Hi children, how are you all? Are you all fine? Yes, I hope you all are fine and fair. Okay, then let's begin our subject SS and chapter 2 in series Prejudice and Discrimination. So before we start this chapter, we'll see what is prejudice. What is prejudice? Okay, so we already learned about that, uh, you know, diversity. In our previous chapter, we learn about diversity. There is a diversity in India. Means uh, many different kind of people are living, different religions following, different languages they are speaking. So this is diversity is there in India. But this diversity in India, it is not that appreciated properly by all groups, means all kind of caste. In short, however, diversity is not always appreciated by everyone. Some people are thinking different way, some people are thinking different. So that all are different in opinion. So diversity is not always appreciated by everyone. So what is money? People, some people have some wrong thinking, disbelief about other people that uh, it is based on one that thinking, caste, color, reason, religion, costume, whatever that things are there that different belief about different people in people's mind is there. The dislike hostility or unjust behavior, dislike hostility or unjust behavior that is not based on on that reason or actual experience is known as prejudice. Means there is different kind of experience about people. Wrong beliefs, different kind of belief without knowing that people. Without knowing actually that people, there is a wrong belief about that person. That is called that prejudice or that you know wrong belief of people without knowing the actual thing. So that is called that prejudice. So prejudice is there. That prejudice is a one kind of judgment. It means judgment of other people. Prejudice means a one kind of judgment of other people without knowing or without seeing them. Without seeing or without knowing will judge some people that is called prejudice. It can be right also, it can be wrong also. We will judge other people on the basis of their caste, color, reason, religion, costumes, outlook. So, it can be wrong also sometimes, not always true. So, it is called that prejudice. It happens when people have false belief, sometimes some wrong belief about that people and wrong idea. For example, you know that English is spoken in India by the majority people. English is called an international language. It is like official language. In comparison with English, other languages are getting low power. Means there is a disbelief, wrong belief about other languages. Inferior, you can say that, that some other language inferior. So the people are speaking other languages, they are also treated as inferior. English got a power because it is international language. So in comparison with English, other languages are there that we feel that inferior. You know, example, someone speaks Gujarati and someone speaks English and definitely more power will go to that person who speak that English. So that Gujarati is inferior we can say. So this kind of that prejudice is there. We can form an idea of uh, any people in our mind. Then you know some wrong opinion about other people. 
that is for kailas so without getting without knowing that person without experience without see that person we have some wrong belief about that person that is kailas we may be rude sometimes we may be rude or will we have like that unjustly or we have unfriendly towards that person or people again soon we feel this prejudice that he or she is inferior we feel prejudice of those people we feel that unjust at time we may even act in uncertain manner we will not behave properly with this inferior so it is called that prejudice it can and that our behavior can hurt them our behavior can hurt them and harm them unknowingly so these feelings of them our feelings about other people that prejudice it can harm them and it brings about some differences among the people so this prejudice it creates some differences among the people so prejudice can be based on that many things prejudice can be based on many things like the people's uh, religion reason from which we people or she belongs caste color costume styles outlook language that all kind of prejudices are there so these prejudices are there so that people are discriminated sometimes how to overcome how to overcome prejudices this kind of many prejudices are in our country so we need to overcome we need to come out from that prejudice so for that we need to come out from that prejudice so for that we need to do that we we are trying we we'll try to be equal we try to understand people we try to understand any people before we judge that person means before we judge anyone we we'll try to understand them in a right way we should give that ourselves and others respect and a chance to understand each other we should give chance to ourselves and to others to understand each other we will respect our diversity and treat it in right way we have to feel like equality we should respect and accept the diversity of our country and learn more about that differences of that persons means so we have to learn about diversity this will help that we will learn about diversity this will help in broadcasting our mind in short we need to take out that wrong opinion from our mind we have to keep out that wrong opinion from our mind about that inferior or that prejudices so most of mostly we have to improve ourselves we should treat people the way we would like we have to treat the people in which way we are treating how how we are treating ourselves that same way we need to treat other people we have to take care of other people like we are taking care of us so stereotypes are there a stereotype is a fixed idea or belief about people about that people that have about something or someone stereotype is a fixed set belief or fixed idea of any person or persons or someone or that something these ideas are wrong also sometimes not true sometimes not true. whatever we think that idea about other people sometimes it can't be true stereotype like prejudice and can be based upon class 
color, religion, reason, and many things are there that that all specifications are there. So specifically, it is based on the caste is there. Caste based discrimination is there. So stereotype, it is a wrong belief about people and wrong thinking about other person without knowing them. It is like prejudice. So each group had its own idea. So we have to respect each group. Stereotype, it is related for whole group. Whole group activity is there. And a specific group believing in this thing, specific group is there, it is believing in that thing. So that is the kind of that stereotype. So we should understand the feeling of groups, each other, because each and every group they have different ideas. So we should try to understand the differences and we not have some um, province ideas. So stereotype it limits us looking each other and each person. Discrimination is there. Discrimination emerges. It happens when people they act on their prejudice. Some people we say in prayer, so we feel we act on that prejudice and discrimination happens. It tends on the caste based different kinds of that people are living in different caste and different tradition, different customs. So discrimination happens. It means treating people on certain way. So that treating people on that different way, it creates that discrimination. So you know that some people are called infra. You can't touch them. This is like that untouchability, discrimination of that people. So when people are denied by equal opportunities and discrimination always happens. So we have to give equal opportunity to all people. We have to understand, we need to understand, we try to understand the feelings of that person, those who feel in fear. So discrimination leads to an unbridgeable gap between the society. It creates unbridgeable gap in the society. People are in fear that kinds of discriminations are there and prejudices are there. That our discrimination is there in based on different caste, different color, different religion and religion, reason, tradition, custom, languages, costumes. So many kind of this prejudices and discrimination is there. So the background is there, gender is there. So we know in India it is a land of diversity. So very often these diversities become a source of prejudice. Diversity, it becomes a source of prejudice. Diversity is there, it becomes the source of prejudice. Caste-based discrimination. You know that caste-based discrimination is going on. So, you know, the caste system, it is a rigid. The caste system is a rigid and complex from earlier period. There are four main castes are Brahman, Kshatriya, Vaishya and Sudras. So the people who are doing that work like cutting of hair, cleaning work, they feel inferior. People, the, those people who are upper class, they are not behaving well with the lower class people. So that they are feeling like inferior. So that lower caste the cleaning work, car work, their activities are there that consider impure and a task of this laser value. They have less value. Untouchability is there. We can't touch them. So people who did this were seen as dirty. They are treated as dirty and impure, illiterate. They were considered to untouchable by the upper caste. The upper caste building, the people who are working like that, they are lower caste and we can't So this is called lower order caste. 
means the low order cast nowadays government has given that scheduled cast we can see that they are called dalit the word dalit means they who have been broken who have been broken and now government has given the dalit scheduled cast so earlier time the dalits were they did not have the same rights like the common people they are not allowed to fill up water from the well where other people are fill up it in villages they are there is a, that industries to them in the schools their children are going to school but they were sitting alone and studying no one was ready to sit with them they feel inferior in mind they were prohibited from using various public that facilities like they are not allowed to enter in temple or they are not allowed to mix in some social activities and children are not allowed to play and to sit next to the children of the upper classes so this kind of discrimination was going on now we can see that dr bimrao ambedkar one of the india's greatest leader we can say that belongs to a poor low caste or poor family that uh, it is called malhar that mahar and thus he was discriminated he was also also discriminated he was not allowed to sit with the children of our class he had to drink water in the school he was not allowed to take water from the school well and he had to sit separately in class so he could not that drink water from the school well that the other children used so ambedkar dr bhim rao ambedkar he fought for the upliftment of the dalit movement and he fought against untouchability and he worked towards the society for all kind of and dalit people he encouraged the dalit to send their children in a school to get education and to get government jobs dr bhim rao ambedkar was the first person from his caste who completed college education and went to england and become a lawyer he was made the constitution he was made he was made chairman of a drafting committee and which was given responsibility of drafting that constitution he is considered the father of the indian constitution indian constitution was done by him so when the discrimination was against someone on the basis of caste color religion customs traditions so this is going on in that earlier period we all have multiple identities we all have multiple identities and various kind of factors are there that help us to construct our identities so like places we live in and the people around us it affects on us the constitution and diversity is there the struggle for indian freedom movement from the british rule it also so one kind of that struggle of that free from from free of our nation from the british rule people are treated equally like dalit tribal women they fought not only fought for indian freedom movement they also fought for their rights and fought that against that discrimination inequality untouchability so dalit tries to gain in entering temple study that he got right to study and by way the time over that he got many opportunities you know that when india gained independence in 1947 leaders were aware of this that discrimination and untouchability so they made constitutions and the list they all got rights of every caste color religion customs traditions reasons that discrimination over and they were treated equally by the all people so untouchability has been largely abolished and is punishable crime untouchability done that 
properly about this and it is punishable crime. The constitution also provides upliftment of the society and eco economically weaker that sections. So it is the duty of the state to protect the sections from a social injustice. So according to our constitution that we are a secular country, people are free to follow any religion, free to do any kind of business. So any festival they can celebrate, any reason they can live whatever they like, they can do any business whatever they like. So discrimination will not happen. So this is that chapter about the prejudice and discrimination and I hope you like this chapter and you understand this chapter. So these are the Dalits, you know, that in last moment that government changed and government has done some rules for Dalits for scheduled caste and how they got that education and they were started getting education and uh, learning and it, all that discrimination over and they were now not that feeling in prayer and they treat all the nations as equal and the whole nation as family. It is that belief. It is nice. I hope you understand it well. Okay. Thank you, children. Bye.